Hey, what's up? It's Radiant, and we're going to jump into another match with the Mono White Aggro deck that was $5, uh, that was designed by Strictly Better MTG on YouTube. And let's see if we can't get uh, a win with this deck. Let's go ahead and play this guy here. Now, last time we, we lost one, and we kind of won one. I mean, the guy left, but we, we did have a threatening board, and he misplayed, so he, he probably did feel like he was going to die. Um, so we can kind of count that as a win as the, as there was pressure there. Go ahead and play first. Alright, this hand, um, you know, we don't have any of our one drops here. And I kind of want to mulligan just to make it fat, to make our gameplay faster. But then again, our drops here aren't too bad. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and mulligan just because two of these spell or two of these are spells at instant speed. All right, now we got some one drops, but no land, so we're probably should have kept that hand and drew. We're going to need to mulligan again, I think. All right, we're going to have to go with this. It's pretty weak, um, but we'll get a. Uh, second chance to uh, try to beat this guy if we lose. Put the Grist Boon on top just so that we can go ahead and grab that and equip it to one of our creatures. Alright, looks like he might be playing an energy type deck. We're green blue. That's alright, that's alright. Just gonna go ahead and get some more land. Man, this feels really bad, like the just having three cards right now. Okay. So we can play our Grist Spoon. I mean, I guess we didn't have to, but it just gives that another point of damage for our combat phase. play our other expedition um, I mean those guys are so tiny too they're only one ones uh, hopefully you can't do anything and we can get some more stuff out okay we need mana so we're just gonna have to attack for five just keep swinging here okay he's gonna do something destroy it yep so he destroyed our big guy. Got him down to 15. But we're out of options. Unless we get mana. Nope, not mana. Alright. Should have probably just kept that first hand. We probably could have drew, up, uh, drew better cards than um, waiting for mana. We'll remember that going forward. I mean, we got him down to 13, but I mean, he's getting towards his mid game. It's going to start getting crazy at this point because he's just kind of building his hand right now, looking at cards, getting set up so that he can start dropping his big guys. And we, we, we just need to be doing more damage. If we had more guys out right now, we could have, you know, 10 or possibly even less. And that would put us in a better position for the mid game. All right.
play Dynavolt Tower. He's only got three energy right now, but whenever he casts an instant or sorcery, he gets three energy. Pretty powerful card. He can spend five energy to deal five damage. Is it five energy? Yeah, he can spend five energy and it deals three damage to a target creature or player. And whenever he casts an instant or sorcery spell, he gets two energy. So he needs to cast one spell and that will give him enough to kill one of our guys. Probably our biggest guy. So we'll, uh, if we only had the mana, we could save that, make a stand for when he goes to use that dynamical tower and we could save it to make it undestructible. Um, but we probably want to save something like our Aerial Responder or Fairgrounds Warden just in case we have taken something with the Fairgrounds Warden and the Aerial Responder is just way better than the Expedition. So no mana again, so we're just going to have to attack here, man. This really is a bummer. Hit him for two. We've almost got him to ten, though. I mean, he hasn't done anything, so we can't clap our hands just yet. I mean, he's built up his his side of the board. And he's got way more mana than we do, which is a big problem. No mana again. I mean, we're really just getting uh, bad luck here. We'll just attack for two again. I mean, he's not going to let this happen for much longer. I'll flash a guy out, maybe? Okay. It'll be interesting to see if he's going to actually kill my guy. That'd be, I think that'd be a waste of the five energy. He's looking for something. Glimmer of Genius is a pretty good card. Yeah, we just, all these cards, we need one more mana. And if we do get a mana, what are we going to play? I mean, I guess we'll... The problem is, if we play our first arrow responder, he's going to dynamo bolt him. Which is fine. We can have that happen. And we don't have enough mana left over for make a stand. If we play... Oh, they're waiting on us. Um, if we play... But if we play him... Okay, he's going to do it, do it on this guy. So you killed him. That's fine, though. Because we'll, he doesn't have the mana now to kill our other guy that we're going to put out next turn. If we get a if we get a land. If we don't get a land, then I guess we're just a sitting duck. But we can put out Aerial Responder. If he does something to it, we have two of them in hand, so we can do that. If he puts out a big creature, we can play Fairgrounds Warden, like this guy. We can go ahead and Fairgrounds Warden this guy. Okay, so he can reveal a card every time he does his first spell lets him reveal a card. If it's a non-land card with converted mana cost less than the spells, you may cast it without prevent paying its mana cost. And if you don't, you put it in hand. So that's uh, pretty powerful. We're going to have to get rid of that card with the Fairgrounds Award. And I think that that might be a good play because he's wants those spells to ramp up Dynavolt Tower. That may be his only strategy, is playing spells and then using this to kill either our creatures or us. Um. No land, but we did get a two mana creature, which we, we really need something out there, I guess. The only thing I'm worried about is like we're just too late now. We, it's too late to get the mana because now he's probably going to be doing the instance, getting the energy, killing our guys that we put out each turn, and um, just being able to start overrunning us. No mana still, but we can create uh, two servos tokens, uh, which we will. Um. And that'll be it. I guess we'll just pass turn. I mean, he can kill our guy. We can't kill him. So we'll pass turn and hope we get a land next time and hope he doesn't do too much next time.
<clears throat> okay, that's a lot of mana. Alrighty, this looks like a big card. So when it enters the battlefield, if the opponent has more life than you, you gain 5 life. Wow. When she enters the battlefield, if an opponent controls more creatures than you, create a 3-3 white angel token. So she gets a 5-5, five, five, she gets a 3-3, three, three, and she gets 5 life, I believe. Wow. So that probably just killed us there. And another Dynavolt Tower. So we're definitely down in that area where I, I think the deck starts to struggle. I mean, if we had mana, maybe maybe it wouldn't have struggled. Maybe he would have controlled us more if we did have the mana to do stuff. Um, but I think when you get down to where you got him around 10 life, you're about turn 5, turn 6, sometimes even turn 4. That's where I feel like the aggro starts to run out, the deck starts to run out. and it, And they have what they need to kind of... You know, they're pulling their big money spells out, and it gets kind of tough. So here we have our three mana. I think the best thing we can do right now is Fairgrounds Warden the Angel. Just to get that 5-5 five, five out of there. And then next turn, we just have to see what, what he does, because I might want to save Make a Stand and... Uh, Try to make a make a stand actually <laughs> let's just fairground warden now because i could be taking a lot of damage coming up here i don't want to take five from the angel and then take three and possibly even six from the two dynavol towers so he's got two guys if we had four mana next turn, we could get the Griff Spoon out of the graveyard and put it on the core. Blade Whirler. But he's got a flying 3-3 as well. So that wouldn't help either. His guys are just too big for our guys to deal with. So I don't see any way to do combat unless we just want to kill two guys to get two damage through, which isn't worth. So we'll pass turn. Prairie Stream. It's a cool looking land art. Alright, just attacking with the 3 3. That's fine. He probably doesn't want to attack with the other guy because we'll double up on him and kill it. Throbin Inspector. Or Thraben Inspector. We could actually get through with three guys right now, but that's only three damage. He'll kill our core, Blade Whirler. But you know, we could do this trickery and do make a stand. I mean, do we want to do that now, or do we want to try to save a creature with it? Um... I think if we attack, we get everybody 1-1. One, one. Now we're getting through with the lot, and we kill his guy, because he's definitely going to block our core Blade Whirler. So let's do that. He might even try... Oh, no, he can't kill the Fairgrounds Warden and get his angel back. Or maybe he can. What did he just do here? 
Okay, this is when we use we use our make a stand, <laughs> and you can't kill him, right? Uh, awesome. I think this is gonna work. Uh, that way, he either he knows now we can't trick him after the block with it, but uh, at least our guys aren't dying this turn. He does have enough energy to kill them though. Um, see, he was going to get his angel back. He's going to get it back anyway next turn with the uh, Dynavolt Tower, which is a bummer. Um, but that's what? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 damage. That's a pretty good attack, I would say. If He's got to decide if he wants to block. If I was him, I would not block because I'm not going to do enough. But you can't kill him. That's fine. I mean, we got him under 10. I feel like that's pretty successful for this deck. You know? Next turn, though, it's not going to be good. Because he's going to have the 5-5. Five, five. That's the problem with that, that card. It's just too easy just to target it. Wow, that enters the battlefield too because it was exiled. With this deck, I feel like if you just do not get the cards that that give you the most aggressiveness, then you just you just can't make it through this part of the game because it's just too powerful for what you have. Or at least for me, that's what I've seen. I'm not sure if other people are able to get uh, through with this. The only decks I've been able to beat with this deck have been, you know, mid game, late game type decks where they're not getting anything out or they don't have their mana. So. Aggro decks, it could be, depending on the deck, it could be a pretty even battle. He's at 14 again. <laughs> Just going to play Aerial Responder right now. He's going to just keep attacking with the 3-3 three, three until we're dead. Wait. What did what just happened there? I guess he Dynavolt towered my uh arrow responder. Yeah, that's that's what he's doing. He's just ramping up his energy and just controlling the board with the Dynavolt tower and then uh Yeah, it's over at this point. He's probably got enough spells in there. He's got 10 of these, so he can deal a 6 damage or 6 damage to creatures. He's going to deal a 6 damage or even more 8 damage. So we're dead next turn. Oh, we're dead now. Alright, let's sideboard. Um, we want to get those destroy artifacts in there. I feel like every game, every match. I mean, last match we, we did this too. Um, we're having the problem with the artifacts. Uh, let's take out Master Trinketer. I think he's just too expensive um, to really deal damage to this guy right now. Uh, by that the, by that point, I mean, we are not we don't have too many Thopters out. And then creating a 1-1 one, one colorless artifact creature token for 4. We could be doing 2 creatures. We could be doing, you know, make a stand and a Thraben Inspector. I don't, I don't think I like that right now. I don't even know if I like that in the deck anymore. Um, because I'm not sure. I haven't used it once. I put the card out there just to have a bigger guy. But I've, I haven't used this at all. So let's go ahead and put these in there. So we can get rid of those Dynavolt Towers. We're not going to mess up again and do the fell at our cub. And think it's an artifact that it destroys. 
let's take out one of these servo expeditions too and put a fragmatize in. Um, let's see, whenever a land enters the battlefield, under our control, we can create a 1 1 core ally creature token or creatures I control get plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn, and it's an enchantment for 4. Mm. I think it's too expensive for this match. I think we just have to go with that. I wish I had something else. I mean, we could do more Fairgrounds Wardens, but he's got the Dynavolt Tower, so he can kill he can kill those, so let's not do that. We'll just keep the two that we have in. That way, uh, you know, maybe we can take a guy away just long enough for us to give that final blow if we can. So that's good. Let's go with it. We'll go ahead and play first. We're going to keep this hand because we do have two Fragmatizes. And we got a one mana creature. Um, but I think mainly I just, I'll just i hold this hand until he gets out his Dynavolt Tower. <laughs> and then blow it up. And he's got four of them. But that way we can at least take away two of them for sure. Alright, we got three now, so Dynavolt Tower is not going to be a problem for us until he gets the last one out. Alright, two damage to start the match off, not bad. Got, got first blood. I just want this guy to pull his Dynavolt Tower out so it can get blown up right now. We'll, fit, we'll play Thraben Inspector. And even next turn, we can go ahead and get that clue, since we don't have anything in our hand to really do yet. Um, let's attack for two again. We might be able to win this one. This one might be a win. That angel's going to be scary, but it took him a while to get that angel out. Played a lot of mana ram. He played a lot of these uh, draw cards too. Loot and, r and ram rumble or whatever rumbage. I did that at the end of our turn. Kind of like getting a free card. Ha! Huh. It's a sorcery, not an instant. I want to blow it up right now. He's tapped out too, so he can't stop it. So, we'll just fragmentize that. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. That just seemed gratifying. Because that puts a hurting on the opponent, you know. He felt that. And we got him down to 13 already. It's turn 4. We're getting into that phase where it gets a little tough. We're getting close to 10 life. We'll be on turn 5. Turn 5 and 6. That's when it gets to where I think the deck needs to be either played really well. You need to have the right draws or it doesn't work. Um, be in combat. He didn't do anything. He's probably going to kill attacking creature this turn. If we don't draw, okay, we draw three. Um, you know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna crack that clue just yet because if he does have the attacking creature spell that he's gonna destroy, we'll uh, make a stand and deal him some more damage. So let's go ahead and attack him. I gotta keep an eye on my timer too because we're getting kind of low for the third game. If he does it. Oh man, we got to make a stand in our hand. He didn't, so take three damage. Could have done it anyway and got a. Got four or five damage. Um, you know what? I wanted to do that clue. I think you can do that at any point, so maybe we can do that on the uh, opponent's turn. And then get our mana back on our turn.
I'll see if I can do it when it prompts us to say okay. Okay, we got him at 10 life. We're at turn 5. We're in that iffy area. We're in the red zone. Alright, another Dynavolt Tower. This guy's going to be so pissed when we blow that thing up. Alright, he's got... Okay. Okay, four energy he's got. So he's one energy away from having a kill spell. He's pretty much tapped out, so he can't negate our... Our <laughs> Fragmatize. I want to uh, see if I can click. Oh, nice. So we can draw that card. Throbin Inspector, nice. Or Thraben. I'm not sure how you say that. Throbin or Thraben. Maybe it's Thraben. Aerial responder. Well, we can't play that because we have to blow up his thing right now. <laughs> Man, we just got so lucky with all three of those in our hand. Oh, no. No. It's going to kill our guy. Uh, I don't have enough mana to, to make a stand for that guy. All right, I guess he has to kill our guy. Whatever. At least you don't have your Dynavolt Tower anymore. And he wasted that five mana. Alright, so we can attack for one. And it just gets tough, the damage, getting the damage out at this point in the game. One damage. Well, we got him down to nine. Um, we'll play this other one. Or Thraven Inspector. Get a clue. And, uh... We're gonna get him if he gets that other... <laughs> that other Dynavolt Tower comes out. We're gonna fragmentize that one too. Getting too much energy though. Alright, we can get two damage in maybe. Um I'm not gonna use anything because I'm still scared. He's got full mana open and he's got those spells that will kill our attacking creature. Um so I'm not gonna do anything just yet. She's gonna attack. Not tap out. I mean he knows we gotta make a stand. But we will make a stand if he tries to kill us. Better back off. Take that damage. Still got him down to seven, boys. We got him down a little bit. Question is, do we play something now? I think we go ahead and we play a error responder. If we play anything, we can't make a stand. And then we can't save him either. Um, and he could drop a tower. Okay. Okay, he's just looking at his cards. He's trying to find something to kill him, probably. He could drop a tower, play a spell, and kill our aerial responder. Which would be not fun. But then we'll kill his dynamo tower. So. So have to see what happens. At this point in the game, it's really just luck and fate. Alright, he's, he's going deep. Trying to find the cards he needs. Trying to find the dynamo tower. For us to blow up. In third game probably will not, <laughs> probably won't get three of those in our hand. At least he's tapped out, but he's tapped out on my turn, which is not ideal. At the end of my turn, now he's full mana again. He played all those spells for free. Not for free, but it just seemed like he played them for free. Unless he didn't have anything to do. Okay, I, I have a feeling Dynavolt Tower, 6 energy, kills Aerial Responder. Because he tried to draw a lot of cards. I don't know if he was trying to get that card or trying to get Dynavolt Tower. Maybe he doesn't have it. Well, we still have Make a Stand. Uh, so let's attack. And now if we make a stand for... Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. If we make a stand here, we can. Oh shit! Oh shit! I was I was talking and I skipped the attack phase. Um, damn it. Okay. We we could have won the game right there. That was a win, probably. Um. That was probably a win. <laughs> and I I accidentally clicked the button again. 
because I was too excited about winning. Uh, okay. Well, we get another chance here. He's full mana. We have to make a stand. Let's see what he's going to do. If he doesn't play it, because he gets a chance to choose, and then I think it attacks. So we, ha we would have to make a stand before before we see what he does, which wouldn't save our creatures, or would it? I think it does. Until end of turn, they're indestructible, so he can't destroy them. He could flash something out. That's about all he can do, but we could win here. Um, he's got a plan. He's open mana. Okay, we're going to attack first and not skip the phase this time. Um, Alright, and then after he chooses, we're going to go ahead and play this now. Uh, he's going to negate it or something. Yep. Uh, that's okay. We got him down. I mean, he was going to do that last turn anyway. What is he going to do next? I should have played my expedition, so that was another mistake. Just to have another guy on the on the board. He's probably got that angel in his hand. Gain 5 life. He'll be back up to 7 again. He'll have a 3-3 three, three and a 5-5. Five, five. That's probably his best play right now. Exile all creatures. And we're out of mana. So, that card won him the game, I think. Well, not, I mean, we got 22 life. It didn't win him the game. But um, we have no creatures. Good thing I messed up and did not play the expedition because now we still have him. <sighs> Dang. Those are our guys that were going to win the game. I mean, I'm pretty impressed right now, though. We got him down to two, mi two damage. Or two life. We only need two damage left. It's been a pretty exciting match uh, but uh, it just needs a little bit more mm, to get it to push to the win so let's go ahead let's save our sandstone bridge so that we can give him one one just as we need to and we only I'm not gonna play the fairgrounds warden just yet because we might need him I think that's all we can do right now. Doesn't have any guys out. Okay, we won one. There we go. So the deck does win games. Um, we're going to sideboard. We're not going to change anything up. I liked everything that happened there. We could Lithomancer's Focus. One of more of these. We got three of them. So let's go with that again. That same deck. But we did win a match for real with the deck that was five bucks so this deck does win okay this is a decision I would hate to mulligan and end up in the spot we were last time with four mana I mean four cards and two mana the whole game but then having no guys that's pretty bad we could play one depending on what we get on turn two and then play the aerial responder. Let's just keep it. I'm too worried about mulligan getting all creatures or something and then mulligan again and just not having what we need. And then we're really like almost losing the game at that point. If we have to mulligan three times. So okay there we go. Two drops. So this worked out okay. Uh, Town Gossip Mogger. Again I, I don't know about this card. I mean it does seem pretty cool. Uh, tap, tap an untapped creature, and then this guy will transform. But it takes like a whole turn to do that. Um, we'll go ahead and get our two drop out. Attack for one. It'd be nice if I could, this would count as a tap, and then we can tap this creature. You know, maybe we should have just held back there. Held back on 
attacking for one you know do we really need to attack for one right here probably not one damage is is it's damage but it's not a lot and uh, we could have really made him a real threat a two three attacking each turn okay we don't have our fragmentize anymore we didn't get three of those in our hand that that really helped us win the game last game okay um like do we do that now we should have done it the first time because now to transform that guy we're gonna waste three damage and that's a lot um so now when do i do it i should have done it the first time give up one damage tap both these guys now i would have had a four four even five with sandstone bridge we'll cast sandstone bridge give him one um this is what i could have had plus one damage if i did do the tap phase so i guess uh re-looking at that now um if you can play him on your first turn and then play a, another creature on your second turn i think tapping him tapping that creature and transforming him is better than doing one damage so going forward if that situation happens again that's what i'm gonna do now later in the match i don't know if that's gonna be what we want to do because then we do have to waste it depend on how many creatures we have if we had a token out you know there's a possibility that we could tap him and tap a token that just came out or something like that but I think at the beginning of the game in this situation we should have tapped and tapped this creature and gave up one damage so we got mana out that's good um, we'll just attack right now He's he's got all his mana open um, destroy attacking creature seems like something that may come out twelve we got him down so I'm gonna go ahead and play aerial responder he I have a feeling that he could he could play that attuned to aether okay what's he doing now yep he's doing something he's gonna get the five He's going to get 5 mana, or 5 energy, and then he's going to kill our error responder. Um, he's killed every error responder we've put out, actually. Um, which would give us life, it would buy a little bit more time in the game for us. And we don't have enough mana to do that, and he can do that ability at any time. So he's probably going to do it on his turn. But we had to play the three mana to cast him. You know, maybe maybe we should have just ramped up before casting another creature. But that would have been way too slow for our deck. That's the problem. Okay. Okay. Wow. So he just fumigated us, destroyed all creatures, and he gains one life for each creature destroyed that way. So our whole plan just got smashed to smithereens. So we have nothing now. We have three land and a mega stand. And we have a town gossip monger. That's about it. No creatures to tap. And he can kill it. But, I mean, even if we lose this game, uh, or lose the match in general, I'm pretty excited about winning that last game. I mean, really, let's see, we, we lost that first one, and then the guy quit on the second game, which which is a win. I mean, he didn't think he could win, so he quit. Um, but it's a little bit of a gray area. And then... uh this game we lost the first one and we won the second one and we lost this one so I mean two out of what is that five that's not too bad for five bucks I could have sand I should have sandstone bridged uh, at my main phase and I should have played a land there uh, oh well I'm trying to go a little bit faster because our time's at 3 minutes and 43 seconds. 
so I miss I missed the land drop in my main phase. But still, two out of three, I mean two out of five, not too bad to have a five dollar deck if you don't have a deck for standard at all. Um, something to play, something to have fun with, something to start out with and then improve uh, upon. Okay, he's gonna kill our guy. I'd hate to make a stand it, but that's the only guy we have, so we're gonna have to make a stand on this guy. He's got five more energy, so his next turn he can just do it again. He probably wanted us to do that, I would assume. But yeah, you can definitely, you know, start out with this deck. Get a, you know, get get a feel for the game if you're newer, or just have a little bit of fun with it, and then um, upgrade the deck as you go along. Now, on uh, the channel that I got the deck from with uh, Dev at Strictly Better MTG, he did a another deck in the same video that was a little bit more expensive, around twenty twenty five dollars, and it should add a little bit more power. So I did. I do have that deck as well, and uh, after I do a couple matches with this deck, I will also play that deck, um, just to see how it how it does. And then going from there, we might even do add some more cards to it, and see uh, if we can make that any better um, for what we're facing online. Now this. This deck may be better in paper. This deck might be better because paper plays different than online. Uh, just because of access to cards and uh, you know what the what the the metas are are slightly different. I mean, they're, for the most part, they're the same, especially higher up um, for either the cost or the skill level. But the metas are a little bit different at some at some points in time. Uh, and online, people try out a lot more things than... Than just having one expensive deck. Or they have an expensive deck and they, they try out a bunch of things. He's gonna kill one of our guys. Uh, if I gross boon on one of these guys, he's probably gonna kill it. But what what other choice do we have right now? Wait till he's tapped out, which he might never be. And four damage. I mean, this this is not bad. But yeah, destroy attacking creature. Okay. Makes his land a three three, and kills my servo. You know what? Let's kill his land just for the fun of it right now. Um, just because he did that. And we need to keep our creature too. I mean, even though he's going to go back to a 1-1, one, one, let's kill that guy. Okay, maybe he's going to do something now. He's going to kill our guy anyway out of spite with the Dynavolt Tower. There's, okay. No damage got through. Um, he's hexproof. Oh, it killed both our guys, so it negates our spell. Clever. It was a clever play. So basically, I mean, he used a lot of resources there, but it wasn't even his turn. And he made us waste our Lithomanthers focus. I think we're going to run out of time on this one. And 
he'll just kill. I, I don't want to play this. I mean, he's just going to kill it. Oh. Trying to be hasty and uh, pull my guy back from attacking. I mean, one damage. So I guess he's playing like a white, blue, green control type deck with Dynavolt Tower. And he's only been attacking with these with this one creature. Do we play aerial responder right now? Oh. Did we play land? No, we didn't. Let's go ahead and give him plus one. I'm not gonna play it till the end of my turn just in case he wants to Dynavolt Tower one of these guys. Or this guy by himself. That puts him at 12 damage. He's gonna make that 3-3 again. Yeah, he did. That opens us up to be able to play Error Responder. Um, he'll need three spells to be able to get Dynavolt Tower back to a killing tower. Alright, there's one. I mean, we're still in the game. 26 seconds left. Oh, they destroy our creatures. Those board wipes are really hurting us. He's got the control. This game, this match, we would we needed to just win. We need to win really soon, like at the beginning of the match. But then turn five. I mean, another, we could either make this. Uh, okay, he's gonna negate this. What? Yeah. Um, we could try to make this deck just faster in general. Because it just needs to do either faster or do more damage in the speed that it's already going at. Or it just needs to have something to power it up a little bit later in the game. Something to give it a little bit more oomph around turn 5 plus. When you got him down around 10 life. I mean, what we were there around 9. We were at 9. And then that's when it started to turn around turn 5 or 6. Um, it's just... And that's, that's more for mid-range, late game. Uh, opponents. For aggro, I think it's just who's doing aggro better, who's got the better cards coming out. Which I haven't played too many. Right now I've, I feel like there's a lot of control, a lot of kind of, they sit back and they play enchantments and stuff. Okay, we're going to time out in seven seconds, but there's not much we can do here. Oh no. He'll kill our. I mean, he's got us locked down, so we'll just do the seven seconds. But, uh. Yeah, so this is match two with the mono white aggro deck from Strictly Better MTG. And, uh. Thanks for coming and watching the video and hanging out. And we got one win today. So. Um, if you did like the, the match or like the video, uh, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe because uh, we'll be doing a match three with this deck. And uh, possibly doing some other decks as well. Um, I have some plans to do some other stuff. So, yeah, stay tuned and uh, thanks for hanging out.